last few days, Times Now has made it a mission to fight for a 17-year-old who committed suicide. No media was willing to touch this story. Why? Viewers, because they were too busy virtue signaling. Mark my words. They didn't want to be seen crossing a powerful Latians lobby that was working extra time to obfuscate the controversial circumstances leading up to Lavania's death. The family kept suggesting that Lavania was tortured because school authorities wanted her to convert. There was in fact a video of her making this allegation. That video, viewers, was not even considered as evidence by the police. The Latvians lobby, aided by the media, went after the family. Spokespersons for the DMK government on this show suggested that anyone arguing for a free and full investigation, including into the conversion charge, were being hate mongers were being Hindu supremacists, were being Hindutvavadis. Viewers, not just that. There was an entire, entire attempt in the media to seed propaganda against Times Now and its anchors. It was a sustained campaign. Why? Because we chose to fight for a 17-year-old who made a particular charge that was inconvenient to the powers that are. It was inconvenient to the Ansari League viewers because it didn't square with the fact that a Hindu, for example, could commit suicide because in this case, allegedly, she was tortured for her convictions. Well, viewers, it's sad. It's really sad that it has come to this. That we forget that at the end of the day, we are not fighting over ideologies. We are fighting over a 17-year-old's life to live, a right to live a happy existence. But viewers, Times Now is not cowed down by this left pseudo-liberal crowd. And today, the honesty of our investigation has been rubber stamped by no less an authority than the Madurai bench of the Madras High Court itself. Lavania's family also stands vindicated today. They were up against a police force intent on derailing the probe and senior ministers of the DMK administration who prejudged the issue and summarily dismissed the forced conversion charges despite the victim herself saying so in more than one dying declaration. Now, viewers, the court has handed the investigation over to the CBI because it doesn't trust the state police to do an unbiased investigation. Yes, viewers, that's the truth. It has made observations that put state functionaries in the dock. Now, here are the hard facts, viewers, in the High Court's own words. Let me read out what the court has said. The first charge the court made in its observations was that an attempt was being made to derail the entire investigation. Attempt of police appears to be to derail the investigation merit in charge that police is not keen on finding out the truth. That was what we were saying. And when the media speaks truth to power viewers, the powerful must listen, must do us that courtesy. The court also said it's too early to reach conclusions, yet police and politicians did. Why? Why this hurry? Why this hurry? It's a fundamental question. Dereliction. First was derailing, second was dereliction. DSP did not investigate what led to the child to commit suicide. Can you believe it, viewers? They were trying to pick and choose the narrative that would either suit their political masters or make it easier for them to shut this case. 
viewers, petitioner's apprehension of not getting justified, justice is justified. That's the reason why the court believes that uh, this particular investigation needs to be handed over to another authority. Circumstances create impression the probe's not on the right line. In fact, when we aired those apprehensions, the DMK spokesperson, Mr. Sarvanan, accused me of lying. I wonder, the DMK today is not sending guests to this panel. Why? Because it knows that honest and tough questions will be asked. We are not paid media viewers. We ask everyone the tough question. Whether it's Pegasus of the center or it's this of a state government, those questions are asked. But obviously, viewers, there will be people who will cherry pick. The other charge, deflection. No allegations against stepmother in any statement by the girl. Videos authenticity undisputed. No basis to target parents. The police wanted to pin all the blame on the nun and put the family in the dock. They were finding scapegoats, in other words, viewers. To protect whom, I don't know. Diversion. So derailing, dereliction, deflection. And last, diversion, but not the least. DMK IT wing released video exonerating school authorities. Raises doubts over credibility and impartiality of state police. Since the minister has taken a stand, state police can't continue. Naturally not, because we all know, unfortunately, police reforms, whether it is in the state of Tamil Nadu or Uttar Pradesh or any other state of the union, the police does, by and large, follow the instructions of the executive authority. It's not independent. Unfortunately, that is true. And I have no hesitation in saying it, viewers. So there was an apprehension in the court's mind that here too the police was taking certain orders. Obviously, viewers, this has led to a massive squall. And one of the people who is hitting out today is uh, K. Annamalai, Tamil Nadu BJP president who was saying the same thing, but was, viewers, trolled viciously. The hashtag using his name, arrest Annamalai and do all sorts of horrible things to him was the lead trend on the horrible gutter that is Twitter for a lot many days, viewers. Lot many days. Hate campaign. But viewers, let me tell you, and I want to look at the reasons why the decision that has been made by the High Court is justified. Despite the conversion video, the police was focusing on harassment and trying to make it a issue that had nothing to do with the conversion. So there was an attempt to deflect. The second reason was the police took action only after there were protests in this case. They weren't bothered to a great extent. Despite re receiving the video, the SP denied the conversion charge. And it was there. The, the, the young girl, young girl said it in her dying declaration. And you know, viewers, that the dying declaration is, uh, is, has to be accepted. Reason four, the, the SP didn't tell the police to consider additional material on record and also register an FIR against the person who took the video. Can you believe it? They went after the person who recorded the dying declaration. There's another reason. Dying declaration to the magistrate was leaked when the phone was in the custody of the police. Why? Why, viewers? In two clips, Lavanya categorically alleges conversion, disregarded. After handing over the phone, another video was published. How this video was being leaked, no one knows. Releasing confidential information, bit to create a debate over this particular issue, obfuscate, divert, as the court says. And the last, but not least, viewers, family said no faith in state police, sought a transfer to CBI in many instances, Usually, out of compassion, the state government says we are very well aggrieved equally. And yes, if you don't have faith, here we go. We'll give it, we recommend a CBI inquiry. The state didn't do it. They tried to challenge it. And look what happened. They have been put in the dock. And I want to open this up tonight, viewers. I want to open this up and I want to ask some very basic questions. Uh, Shadat Punawala, I want to ask you tonight. And, and I know that this is an elliptical question. But uh, the question is very straightforward. Were you trying 
to communalize this issue? I know that it's an elliptical question because quite clearly the police have been pulled up by the courts. But I know exactly what Amerikai, Narayanan and C. Raja Shekharan will say today. They might have sold their souls. I don't know. But I want to ask you, just so that you can put it on record, Shahzad Punawala, were you trying to communalize? Was the BJP trying to communalize? Or do you believe yeah. today you feel vindicated? Rahul, let me just start with a quote made by the co Honorable Court, which has observed that the local SP pretended as if she had touched a live wire at the very thought of uh, the angle of conversion. And from the starting itself, her attempt was to keep that entire angle, which was on the dying declaration of the girl, out. Today, the order of the High Court has established not only that there was derailment, diversion, deflection, there was demonization of the victim's family, and it indicates towards a cover-up, towards a collusion, towards a complicity, and towards a larger conspiracy. And what is this larger conspiracy? The conspiracy to save the larger conversion mafia that is extremely active and is perhaps getting maximum patronage under the DMK and the Congress government. Today, please ask yourself the question. A minister in this government came out even before the probe could be started in earnestness and came to a conclusion that no conversion angle was there. Why was there such a haste by the administration, the police and the minister to come to such a conclusion? This is what even the court has asked. The reason why is because another minister in this government has answered that question when he had said, and I quote Mr. Nasser, who has said that we have won because of certain Christian prayers. This is the statement made by a minister in their government. This is the DMK government that has looked the other way when temples have been desecrated. This is the DMK government that has looked the other way when in front of Mr. Stalin, Hindu phobic comments were made by certain preachers. This is the same Mr. Stalin who himself has been accused of making commentary against Hindu rituals. We all know the stand taken by the Congress and the DMK on Ram Setu. This seems to be a concerted effort against the Hindu community. This is Mr. Stalin who has spoken about so many cases of suicides and that is a credit to him. But why was he silent on this case? Why was he silent when the parents had approached the court? Why was he silent when the parents were making the allegation that there was a conversion angle? This is because there is certain cover-up that was taking place right under his nose and perhaps with his own collusion and conspiracy and that was what was being covered up and today the Honorable High Court has put it out in front of everybody. The final question is that why is it that there is a selective silence of the so-called secular lobby when there is a Hiralal who's killed, when a Lavanya is forced to commit suicide or to die by suicide, when a Kishan Bharwad is killed by radical elements who have links with Pakistan, when a Khetaram Bheel is killed, where are all these people who talk about human lives, lives mattering, Dalit lives matter, about lynching, not in my name, why do they go selectively silent? And today we were not only demanding CBI probe, we were also demanding of anti-conversion law that should be passed in Tamil Nadu. If the conversion mafia is not active and is not being defended by the state government, what is the problem in having this law? Congress has advocated these laws in the 1950s, they've passed it in many state governments. Today they should support it. Okay. Let me bring in uh, Dr. Raman. Dr. Raman, you know in the Hathras case, and there are many parallels, look, you can communalize not just by playing up someone's religion but also identity. In the Hathras matter, when the police seemed to have taken a position, then there was a massive dharna by the opposition. The Congress, several other political parties, as you know, went there to Hathras. When some ministers of the UP government tried to suggest that the opposition was playing politics, uh, and that led to the opposition demanding a CBI inquiry. The state government there, Yogi government said, okay, we'll order a CBI inquiry. Here, there was resistance. And the problem tonight for the DMK government and the police is that the charges are being made by the court itself. Yes, it is not pronounced on the merits of the case, but it has certainly made very disturbing charges, Dr. Raman. Today, yeah. does the DMK stand accused, and I'm asking you this, stand yeah. accused of trying to put a ballot over, over the life of a young girl? Simple. Okay. Uh, Rahul, 
I think there are two or three points that I want to make. The first one is that the state government has shot itself in the foot, and it definitely stands indicted by the extremely uh, strong observations of the court, where the court has actually uh, accused or, or said that the police were attempting to derail the case. Uh, now, the point is, has the BJP politicized this? Uh, certainly. I mean, they have they have tried to extract as much political mileage as is possible from this. But I guess that as a political party, I don't see uh, any major um, error in that. Now, the point is, had the government and the local police merely simply said, look, we are investigating this matter, the truth will come out in due course, we would not even have reached here. There would, be, there would have been no need for a CBI inquiry. Instead, they went overboard with minister after minister queuing up to say there is no conversion angle. The SP says there is we no We know that. I have, angle. I have been asking so those point, questions. No, but Dr. Raman, no. I am asking you, why did the DMK, to use your word, shoot itself in the foot? Yeah, I think... I think what are the compulsion? Look, look, Rahul, you have to understand the politics of Tamil Nadu as it is today. The DMK is starting off with a 15% vote bank. Now, that minority vote bank is almost overwhelmingly with the DMK. Okay, and I'm not talking about, you know, 50%, 60%, 70%. It's probably closer to 90%, but we don't have the accurate data on it. So, while other parties start off with zero, the DMK starts off with 15% vote bank in its kitty. And there is no way that they would do anything to even annoy the vote bank that they have among the minorities. So you're saying so clearly, that they betrayed this young girl for the ballot. That's what you're so saying. I would, I, would not, I would not use the term no, betrayed then, this young girl because I mean, we take a position. You can't say yet. that, look, they start with no, a 15% no, and no, they have minority. No, and no, hold they, one second. One come on. second. We do not know the truth as yet. As I'm not the, saying we know the truth. The judge has pointed out in the order. But, but what we do know is that there was an attempt at derailing, dereliction, deflection and diversion. Yes. And there seems to be a compulsion behind this diversion, deflection, dereliction and derailing. And, and I want to bring in the, the right honorable. I want to annoy their vote back. I want to bring in the right honorable. Right Honorable uh, Mr. Rajashekran, who was waxing eloquent on Friday, if I'm not mistaken, on the show and accusing me of twisting facts. Now, Mr. Rajashekran, you're an advocate of some repute in Tamil Nadu. Do you apologize? Do you apologize to all of those who pursued this matter because they were convinced that injustice was being done? It's a very simple question. Rajashekran. Rahul, uh, let us not jump the gun. Let us not say that everything is over. Yes, the Honorable Madras High Court Madurai Bench has transferred the case to CBI. Let the CBI not be a cage parrot. It is a premier investigating agency of this country. And let them investigate the matter. Let the truth come out. And I am not uh, taking any sides. I, I oh, suddenly you are not taking any sides? <laughs> No, let me, let uh, me Mr. make Mr. Raja Sekran, so have the BJP. No, no, put your hand on your heart. No, no, I can have one line. Day. For one minute. You know, we all, one line. line. We all, we it's all. It's shame on you. No, no, it's Raja shame Sekran. on you. I directly accuse you. It's shame. Allow me to speak and then heckle me. You, you cannot uh, uh, interject like this. But come on. You allow me to speak. There is an order and you are, everybody wants to jump the gun and say, this has happened, that has happened. I go by the affair. I go by the dying declaration. I, I speak on facts. I don't want to politicize the, any issue with regard to the minor girl's death. Let us be straight. Let us not play to the galleries. I, I want to make things very clear. Whether it is DMK, ADMK, BJP, Congress, a death of a minor girl has to be brought to the books and the truth has to come out. I have no second opinion on that. Mr. Raja Sekran, that was just one line. Don't that was... jump the gun and accuse somebody. Okay, don't you can shout Mr. Line. Raja Sekran. Okay, you're agitated. Now, Calm just down. one line. No, no, one minute. One minute. I'm not agitated. I'm only speaking the facts. Bro. Just one I line. I want to only make one small interjection before I bring in Mr. Punawala. One small interjection. One small... In Mr. Raja Sekran, look. One line. You're getting all yeah. lathered up today on national TV. You've done a bold <laughs> fast. Fair enough. But today you can't say that the court has taken some incidental position. They've taken a stand. They haven't judged on the issue. I agree with you. No one has gone into the merits right now. They are only bothered Rahul, at the first step, Rahul, which is the fact that this lady... One minute. 
that this lady who is the accused in this particular case was putting pressure there is reason to believe because there was some video evidence on lavanya to convert that was all that was said why were you getting no. so lathered no one minute hmm. not so, not even i ought to have truth of conversion Raja Sekran, how are you saying it? Now you are saying, now you are saying you are prejudging. Look, come on, don't prejudge the issue. You are now prejudging it. See, this is where the problem is, viewers. No, no. Before the magistrate, the dying declaration never spoke about conversion. Mr. Mr. Raja Sekran, again, you are see again. Very wrong. Again, very wrong. So you are slandering the young girl. You are slandering her family. That and there is a video, and we have played that video. You know, look, I don't want to get into this slander game with Mr. Raja Shekhar. He's the master of, you know, no. switching sides. And he's done it several times. He started his career supporting one particular party. Then he went to the other. Then he went to a third. Then he came back to another. No. And I think no, no, no. Dr. Raman so will tell you that, with great it, eloquence it, it like his a, background. I mean, Anyhow, what does that, I'm not, that I'm, pay to this debate? Okay, Come on. Okay. Raja don't, Shekhar, don't ji, one line. One line now. Mr. Raja Shekhar. Make it personal. I can also make it no, 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 Mr. Rajasekhar, Mr. Rajasekhar, let's be, let's be at least, let's be at least respectful of the yes, fact. You are only making personal comments, Rahul. I'm not making personal comments. I only no, said what, that you have changed your stand. What does my political have to this debate? Let us be fair. Let us be fair. Life. Four so days back, four days back, you were saying something completely opposite. And today, because well, of facts I, don't I align with you, you have... Making no no one second. You are trying to paint yourself as this real guru of justice. I'm sorry, it doesn't work here. You've been expert. I'm going to pull out the soundbite. One you are also, Raja Shekran. Mr. You're Raja Shekran, I'm going to pull out the soundbite from that's Friday, that's and I will play it out for the viewers to hear what you said on that particular day. Yeah. Your vitriolic, vituperative attack on me and Times Now will be out, and then we'll put you in a split frame with what you said on Friday and what you said today. Nonetheless. I don't want to get into a shouting match. Shadat Punawala wants to respond. I want to bring in Mohandas Paishkan, Bandari, and Amarakai Narayanan. Just one yes, line. Yes, Mr. Punawala. Quick response. Yes. Playing Just politics. Just one line. Yeah. Rahul, Rahul, on a day when the... Me yeah, Rahul, on a day when the media and particularly Times now should be congratulated for standing for justice for Lavanya, and this is what the court said, there's nothing inherently improbable in the allegation that there was an attempt at conversion. It could be true or false. The matter called for an investigation, not outright rejection. On a day when the court has said this, I, I wonder how deep this rot runs that this person is accusing you of whatever he's saying. But I want to ask that Mr. Raman said that this is politicization by the BJP. When you talk about Akhlaq and Pehlu Khan and we respect that and we are also troubled when something like that happens. That but, is but human I rights, championing human rights. But that. if we speak about Kishan Bharwad and Lavanya, it becomes politicization. I, no, this no, double no, standards no, of no, one-eyed no, secularist no, no, like Mr. Raman said, fine, is the good to play politics. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let me open this up. Anything wrong with that? that the one observation. Okay, Please, okay. I think you're congratulating Times now. Maybe okay. you should congratulate Times now. You do not need to give us any no. tags. No. The court has been One second, one second, one second. You had directly. You do not no one should tag. congratulate. No, no, one minute. Exactly Let me tell you, viewers, comes from. this is very, very Please, important. We don't the want co congratulations. The co we are doing our job. Us. One minute, one minute. We are just doing our job. You know who we should be congratulating today? It's the family of Lavanya, the survivors. They deserve the congratulations. We don't. We just did our job, viewers. And we are glad that we are on the right side of this argument. That's all. Times now, India upfront never misleads you on facts. When we get into something, and I've always told you viewers, the hard facts on this show are aimed at getting you closer to the truth, not further away. That's what some people do, and we expose them. Now I want to go straight across to Mohandas Pai, Amarakai Narayanan, and Ishkaran Bhandari. Uh, where do you step in, Mohandas Pai, into this? I can't hear you. I think you're on mute, Mr. Pai. Go ahead. Yeah. Yes. Now it's yeah. very clear the yeah. state has compromised on the investigation. Yes. And justice in the state. The police, the political parties, everybody have gone against the poor girl who was killed herself and their complicit. It's good that the, uh, the judge, the, the, it's good that the court has come down heavily on them and exposed them. Th their job was to make sure they have a proper investigation without support. The police went out of the way to cover up. The state minister went out of the way to cover up. The party went out of the way to cover up. 
And like Raman said, it's very clear. There is a conversion lobby, very big conversion lobby in Tamil Nadu. There's a lot of money flowing there. There's tremendous amount of evidence. There is great abuse against the Hindu community. The state, the state, state government is Hindu phobic. You can see all their activities. They profess hatred, caste hatred against certain <coughs> communities. They are not doing the job. And it's very clear the politics there has initiated. It's been initiated for a pretty long period of time. And these are results of that. And we are seeing so many acts of Hindu phobia, so many acts of supporting radical Muslims, supporting this conversion mafia and money coming in, etc. And when you have the state against you, where is justice? There's a total failure of the justice at the entry level itself. And we must thank the media for exposing it. We must thank the court for standing up for justice. I hope the CBI investigates and gets at the truth and exposes okay. everybody. Okay, Ishkar Mandari, does this betray Hindu phobia as uh, Mohandas Pai suggests? Rahul, two events of recent past betray Hindu phobia. Kishan Bharwad, what happened to him in Gujarat, as well as Lavanya case. But this is very important here. So two, three points. Everybody is saying the court did not decide. But the court did decide. The court decided that the police is trying to scuttle the investigation. I am reading from the judgment. The superintendent of police virtually threatened the person who shot the video. So you should have goaded the investigation into religious angle. You are threatening somebody shooting the video. If this is not law and order, if this is not scuttling the investigation, what is? Second part, how did the dying declaration come out? A lawyer on the panel says, dying declaration says this or that. As a lawyer, he knows it is confidential. Who leaked it? Of course not the court. Of course not the magistrates. Of course it was leaked by people who wanted to create a false narrative. That should be investigated into. That how was the investigation a trial being hampered by leaking the dying declaration? And thirdly, there are three large points that I request everybody just read three pages of the judgment. We don't have the time to read them, but page 15 to 18, everybody should read. And here I'm reading from the judgment paragraph 17. I fail to understand why the superintendent of police reacted as if she had come in contact with a live buyer. Going further, the school in question is run by a congregation. The Holy Bible says, therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. This is done by that congregation. Okay. So that is what the judge said. And last one point, very important, specific to case the judge has spoken, but larger, two examples that he gave of serious men, where the art shows how conversion is carried out, some serial by Nawazuddin Siddiqui. And second, where he says, the school is in an area called Michael Panti, or Michael Patti. That is obviously not the original name. So the names are also being changed. And how are they being changed? All this requires a holistic investigation. The last thing I will say is what the judge said. I hope the CBI gets to justice very, very fast. That's the important part. Uh, America and Arainan, the government exposed, okay. the state police exposed, the Congress exposed, the DMK exposed. And as Dr. Suman C. Raman says, it's because of the minority vote. First thing, I don't know where you see Congress getting exposed. Congress is an ally. And, no, you, you want to be... And, and, they, I, and, and it's no, boss listen, Priyanka Gandhi. Listen, no, listen, listen, you ask me a question, I'm going to put it out there. It's I, boss Priyanka you, Gandhi you, says, the ladki hu, lad sakti hu. She so didn't me. stand with la, Lavanya. So One you, ladki you, she didn't stand with, and this is becoming me, quite recurrent. Neither, you... Right before me, there are five guests who talked and you did not interrupt. You have a habit of interrupting when it is inconvenient to you. Hey, let bolo. the people see, Speak see it. Speak at length. Now, let, me, let, me, let me come back. Two, I don't see where the Congress getting exposed. Number two. Right. Let me tell you, I want justice for Lavanya and everybody wants justice for Lavanya. The real question is, is it being... No, even politicizing it is okay because <laughs> politics is everything and there's nothing wrong about it. But the real question is you and the BJP are trying to communalize this issue. Right. And, and, and the so courts? And the courts, what are they doing? No, no. I mean, we are asking the same questions that the court is asked. No, no, no. Hang on, hang on. Don't try to be too clever by half here. 
No, no, I'm not going to allow you. Sorry, sir. Sorry, I asked a straight question, the first question to the BJP. Are you trying to communalize the issue? And they gave a very reasoned response. You don't have a leg to stand on today because the court has at no time, no time Listen sympathized with your point Listen of view. So instead of today apologizing to Lavanya's family, you are trying today to deflect. One of the four Look things that the court has said you are trying to do, you are replicating that behavior on national TV. And America and Narayana, yes. I have no patience yes. to listen to an individual yes. who wants to yes. spew yes. more yes. blood. Yes. No, no, one second. Yes. I'm tired, sir, of people on yes. this channel, coming onto this channel yes. and accusing yes. us, yes. accusing us of trying yes. to divide society when that's precisely what you're trying to do. Unfortunately, you don't follow what you preach. You don't give people the time. You just sit and preach there. So just listen when you ask me the question. The question is not whether this is, we want justice to, for Lavanya or not. Now, CBI has been consistently, you said right in the beginning, the police department, whether it is in Uttar Pradesh or any other state, has been, you know, hand tied because of the local uh, chief ministers and local government. The same thing, you would not refuse that the CBI is not up above, and it has been a cage parrot in the past present. And we have seen several incidences in the last six years. And ED and CBI Mr. Narayanan, Mr. Narayanan, the court in its wisdom has handed this matter to the CBI. Surely the court would have been aware of all of this. One second, please. Listen to me. America Narayanan, I don't want to get into a slanging match with you, especially when you have actually very little ground to make an argument stand on its legs. Now, I just want to say three things. Viewers, you can selectively quote me. You can say that, look, you were balanced enough to ask the BJP the tough question, which is elliptical. Are you trying to communalize this issue? That is exactly what America Narayanan was saying. You know, being clever by half. I asked the fair question to the BJP. I didn't give them a platform. Number two, viewers. Number two, I said that the police force, whether it is in UP, whether it is in any other part of this country, unfortunately take their orders from the executive. It is a fact. Now, whether you can, you know, there might be exceptions to the rule, but it is unfortunately now the rule. And I don't think anyone on this panel will disagree with me, and I'm glad they don't. How am I motivated if I make that point about every government? Okay, three. How Viewers, be one second, please, America Narayanan. One minute, please. You're a bright man. I don't want to get into words with you, but you know today you're exposed. The Congress party viewers is an ally of the DMK. It never stood up for the rights of a larki. Priyanka Gandhi Vadra stands in Uttar Pradesh and waxes eloquent about the rights of the larki. Where is she today? Silent, zip. Why? It's inconvenient, viewers. It's inconvenient. It's okay to say all of this in Uttar Pradesh because that's where you're hoping, you're hoping for a couple of votes, but it doesn't suit it, because you will be actually stabbing your ally in the back. And this behavior now is replicated in pretty much every state where the Congress is either in power or is helping the government stay in power. We can have right. a separate debate on that, but I don't have the time right now, viewers. We need to move on. We've established a certain fact. Okay, Shadab Purana, final question, final response, very quickly, and I want to then quickly go back to Ishkan Bhandari on this issue. In fact, since America Narayanan has brought it up on the CBI issue. One minute. Yes, yeah. Mr. Punala, very quickly. Yeah. No, just like uh, Mr. Narayanan's party is caught between Rome and Ram, I think the previous speaker is caught between being Narayanan and therefore he is having so much trouble to take a clear position. Today do you accept that the DMK government's police was acting in a manner of collusion and in a conspiratorial manner to actually not allow justice for this little girl and if you do believe so then what are you going to do about it? Still be in alliance. If you are such a big Hindu in Uttar Pradesh, if you are such a defender of rights of girls in Uttar Pradesh, today you should be asking questions but did your leadership ask any questions? And finally if you are against this kind of practices, will you support the anti-conversion law that we are trying to say 
say that the Tamil Nadu government should be bringing. You have passed it in the 1950s and 60s. Why are you so reluctant today? This is because you're caught between Rome and Ram. You're caught between America and Narayana. Okay. Uh, Ishkan Bhandari, very quickly, CBI brought into the picture vote of confidence or no confidence? Very quickly. Rahul, not only a vote of no confidence in the police, it's a castigation of the police. The court is observing that you are threatening people who shot the video. The court is saying dying declaration gets leaked. The court says the minister is absolving the school without any investigation. What more should the court do in any other country? The people doing all this would be facing the law, would have a fire on them itself. Okay, now I'll tell you what will happen, viewers, since you've already got a trailer of it from America Narayanan. He will say, whatever now the CBI comes out with, if they come out and say, well, there was an element of conversion here, they'll say, oh, the CBI has been doctored by the center to say this because they want to communalize this issue, polarize the electorate and win some Hindu support by consolidating the vote. I can tell you, and we'll have this debate when the CBI submits its report. See, I've already got a thumbs up from C. Rajashekaran because... That's the way their mind works. It is not about no, no, giving no, no, justice no. to I'm an 18 year old. What you're saying is right. Oh, great. What Thank you, you sir. Right. I'm honored. I'm sure. I'll put out that uh, comment by you, by the way, no, on no, Twitter. No, no, Don't no, worry, I'm, I'll put it I'm out. Telling, I'm not going to absolve you. You, you can't you butter are, me up right now. I'm no, I need to move on. Okay, fair enough. Okay, okay. Perfect, perfect. We